Dr. Carl Riesch, a medical doctor, said, no doctor has time to read. We depend on the FDA to keep us informed. And the drug industry only tells the doctors what they want them to know. And doctors are too busy to read their own journals. Doctors, doctors don't doctor. have time to read. They only know what the drug industry tells them. And if you think the drug industry doesn't want to make $800 billion a year, you're crazy. But very few people have a basic understanding of pharmacology as a doctor does. All drugs are toxic. Uh, the fourth leading cause in, uh, in, of death in this country, uh, if you've read the newspapers recently, has, is attributed to the proper use of drugs in a hospital setting. Now, actually, this number would be much larger because this doesn't include outpatient use of drugs. Uh, right now, the, the medical industry is driven by profit, and it can't be. Because if it is, and ad, as it is, then disease is, is what we're going to have because only disease is profitable. The pharmaceutical industry pretty well has the health industry locked up. Uh, research is pretty much unavailable to anyone but them. For example, any type of new technology in the computer industry would never be su suppressed. Where in the medical industry, it's commonplace. We don't think for ourselves anymore. We allow the drug companies to tell us how to study an illness. We don't look at prevention. There's nothing about nutrition in any medical textbook that's worth anything. Your American Medical Association was created. Their policies today are killing millions of Americans. And uh, they make a rule. You cannot challenge them because you do not have medical freedom. Yeah, back in 1876, uh, they were all getting together uh, to form your constitution, and uh, Benjamin Rush, Dr. Benjamin Rush, the Surgeon General, said, I want medical freedom. And what that means is all the people can choose any medicine they want, and any doctor can practice any medicine he wants. They had a vote. On uh, medical freedom, he lost by two votes because Washington was lobbied and changed his vote. The things you have been told are not true. You can blame the AMA, whose 87% of their board members become board members of the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and 92% of those board members end up with multi-million dollar pensions from the drug industry. They control each other. They are each other. They are one and the same. Bottom line is, you haven't got a chance. Don't listen to them.